Corey, welcome to Derby. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, um, brilliant to be fair. Um, uh, I've been speaking to the club for a while, um, pretty much as soon as my contract ended at Swansea. You know, the club was was in contact and showing a, a real interest literally a few days after. So I always uh, I liked that, you know, I liked um, that, that they wanted me from early and you know, I spoke to spoke to Liam a few times, and <clears throat> my gut was always pulling me towards Derby. To be honest, uh, you know, I spoke with a few teams. I had some some offers from some Championship teams and stuff on the table, but um, my gut was was telling me, you know, I feel like there's a chance to do something special here, and and that was that was exciting for me. Was that what appealed then, the, the chance to maybe be really part of something? Yeah, listen, I've played against um, Derby many times. Um, the fans are, are brilliant, the stadium's brilliant. I've spoke to people who, who played here, like lots of um, John Owens, uh, stuff like that. Um, over the years, they've always said what a great time and you know how, how much they loved it here, the training ground. Um, so yeah, um, and obviously I saw last year how much the club kind of pulled together in a hard time. And I felt like, you know, uh, for me, at, at my at my age, where I am in my career, I wanted to 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 try and do something special and try and really try and bring this club back to the championship. Was that something then last season that other players, opposition players, noticed and, and talked about the way the club and, and the fans responded, reacted to everything that was happening? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what other you know, other clubs did, but you know, I I, I always kept a little close eye. Um, uh, and obviously, well, we played played here last season, um, uh, and you know, like I said, obviously the club was going through hard times, but it seemed like the fans were still really behind behind the players, and uh, and like I said, I've played there many times, and it seems like a, a an amazing club, and everyone knows how big the club is, so yeah. You've got a great CV, um, nearly two hundred fifty appearances in the Championship alone. Was there any reluctancy to, to go into League One at this stage for, for a player like you? Well, I had to have the conversations, of course. Like I said, um, I did have some offers on the table, so I had to have those conversations. Um, but after giving it some time, weighing up um, everything, um, like I said, from, from those convos from early, there was something pulling me towards Derby. And, uh, and uh, my wife, you know, we, we spoke. Um, close friends and everyone was telling me, you know, that this is this is something for you. You know, the way you are, your character. Um, I feel like it will really suit you. So, listen, like you said, I've played a lot of games in the championship. Um, so, I don't need to like. I don't feel I need to be one of those guys that has to like prove oh, I stayed in the champ. You know, I want to come somewhere. I like to be part of a project, some some a club that's trying to do something and rebuild and. Um, try and help in any way I can to try and get this club over my over my couple of years that I'm here um, to try and get this club uh, back to the championship. And you know all about getting out of League One, promoted a couple of times. You must have good memories of that with with Norwich and, and Bristol City. Yeah, yeah. You know um, that's obviously something Liam you know has looked looked for. People have been had promotions on the CV. Um, I'm luckily lucky enough to. I've had three promotions. Some players <laughs> don't get any in their career, so uh, that's obviously um, all my all my. That was a massive, you know, um, pull as well. All my favourite seasons are the ones where I've been promoted, and um, I would love to, you know, do that do that at Derby. And um, yeah, obviously, there's a lot of players now with that experience, and that should hopefully help us um, over the next season. Everyone that's arrived this summer, it feels like they already know half the squad already. Are there any friends in that dressing room for you? You know what, like obviously a lot of us have been around the game a lot, so we've played each other a lot of times. Uh, obviously last season, me and Connor was at Swansea together, Connor Uruhan, and I know him from a few years back. Me and him actually went to Vegas about seven years ago <laughs> uh, with some mutual friends. Um, we'll ask you uh, about that Yeah, uh, I was at a wedding in the summer um, with... Uh, uh, Ches James Chester, Chesley. Um So I actually got to know him. Me and my wife got to know him and his his wife. We was over there for three days together. Um, James Collins. Um, uh, I know. 
I know as well and I spoke to him so yeah there's quite a few and there's other guys in there that I, I know through mutual friends and we speak and stuff like that so I had I did have some conversations before I joined as well with with those guys you know we've all been talking a little bit behind the scenes so um yeah you know it's, it's listen some of the some of the experience and achievements of of some of the guys in the change room now um you know it's it's amazing to to be part of that and I'm you know I'm 31 but I'm always looking to learn and there's people in there that have um, played even higher level than me and done more so I'll, I'll be looking at them and trying to learn from them as well. And um, finally first day in the building proper first day's training is going to be the hottest day of, of the year mm, so far. Yeah. You ready for it? <laughs> yeah you know not played for for a few three months maybe not kicked the ball but to be fair I've been I've been trying to I've been making sure my body's right, um, but yeah, it should be very fun in, in 40 degrees. Hopefully, I don't I don't collapse on the first day, but um, now nah, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm I'm just delighted to be here now. Good luck and good to have you here. Thank you very much, Jess.